Section 10. When a polynomial 3x cubed plus mx square plus nx plus 2 is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is minus 8. When this polynomial is divided by x plus 3, the remainder is minus 88. What are the values of m and n? This type of question is sure to come, right? So, uh, do it carefully and also look into my solution. Correct. Now let's go through this statement once again. When a polynomial is divided by this, remainder is that. That means p of 2 is minus 8, right? So we, let's start from there itself. So we say p of 2 is equal to, let's plug 2 here. So 3, 2 cube is 8, right? Plus 2 square is 4. So let me write 4m directly, okay? Plus 2n plus 2. So what is p of 2? Is minus 8. So we say minus 8 is equal to 24 plus 4n plus 2n plus 2, right? So let's solve. So 24 plus 2 is 26. So we have minus 8 minus 26 equals to 4m plus 2n. So minus 24 and minus 26 is gives us minus 34 is equals to 4m plus 2n. We can divide by 2, right? We get minus 17 equals to 2m plus n, right? So that becomes our equation number 1. Let's call this equation 1, right? Now, let's try to do the other half on the right side. When this polynomial is divided by x plus 3, that means p of minus 3, right? So we have p of minus 3 equals to minus 88. So let's plug in minus 3 here. So we get 3 times minus 3 cube is minus 27, right? And minus 3 will become square plus 9m. 3 square is 9 minus 3n plus 2, correct? This minus 3 is minus 88. So we'll put minus 88 here equals to 3 times this, 3 times 7, 21, 3 times 2, 6 and 81. Correct? And plus 9m minus 3n plus 2, right? Now we'll bring these terms on that side. So we'll say minus 88. And this is plus 79 equals to 9m minus 3n, correct? Now, when you do this, so it is minus 9 equals to 9m minus 3n. We can divide by 3 this time, right? This minus 3 equals to 3m minus n. So that's what we get. Let's call this equation 2. Now from these two equations, we can find two variables, right? So we have 3m minus n, 2m plus n. Let's add them, correct? So if I add equation 1 and 2, what do I get? So minus 17 and let me write this. Minus 17 minus 3 is equals to 2m plus n plus 3m minus n. Correct? So we get minus 20 equals to 5m. Right? And therefore, m is equals to minus 4. Perfect? Now once you know m, you can plug it in an equation and find the value of n. So we can use equation 2, right? We'll put m here in equation 2. Let's call this equation 3. So when I put 3 in 2, so you get minus 3 equals to 3 times minus 4 minus n. Correct? So I'll bring n here and this is minus 12 plus 3 which is minus 9. Perfect. Therefore, we get our equation as, let's write down polynomial now as 
3 x cube plus m is minus 4 let me write minus 4 x square and n is minus 9 so let's write minus 9 x plus 2 so that's our equation so you know m is minus 4 and n is minus 2 correct that's how we are going to solve these equations okay i hope you understand thank you